Good morning, guys. Not exactly ideal Disney World Florida weather, but believe me, if I was not greeted by rain in Disney World on my very first day of my vacation stay, it would not feel normal, for sure. The only difference today is that we have thunderstorms and the parks, all four parks have already canceled, well, turned off all of their outdoor rides. So not a great day to be going to a Disney park today, so we're not going to. And I say we because I'm actually joined. I went to the uh, Orlando airport and picked up someone special to spend the entire Disney Christmas week with. And I'm really happy. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's not a vlogger or a YouTuber or anything like that. She, she's just here to spend time with me and we're gonna respect her wishes. So she may help me with the camera to get some shots or something like that. But in the meantime, you're basically just still stuck with me sharing everything. But if you need a vacation, I've got some fantastic stuff planned for this week leading up to Christmas, guys. New rides, new tickets, new shows, uh, two new late night um, extra tickets and stuff. So it'll be a fun little Disney vacation if you want to go around with us. Uh, for today, it's going to be a soaker and lots of thunder and lightning. So we've got some uh, new restaurants to go eat at and a show tonight. So I'll just uh, take you along and we'll try to stay dry and warm, okay? All right. All right, we're on the bus, avoiding the rain, heading to Disney Springs for the afternoon. Well, we're here in Disney Springs and it is just pouring, so I don't know how much filming I'm gonna be doing. Every time I take the camera out, I gotta wipe the lens because of the humidity. Today is going to be the warmest day of the entire week at 78 degrees today on the rainy day, so it's just very, very humid here in Disney. I'll show you what I can. At least they do have some covered area. Look at this Christmas tree in downtown Springs. It's pretty, and I'm really excited about lunch plans. I've shared with you guys several times that there was one place I wanted to go. Yeah, we got in. can imagine it's going to be a highly popular indoor shopping day <laughs> apparently I feel like I'm more excited to go to the Fort Wilderness there you like to get more 2018 versions of everything probably and upstairs holy cow the smells were good so we came in for a little snack here look at this gingerbread house look at that even the bricks are made out of gingerbread I didn't brew any coffee this morning so I did get my coffee and we got some treats I got my first gingerbread. It's a Donald gingerbread made fresh here with some frosting. And what'd you get? And an eggnog macaroon Santa Mickey treat. Mm. There it is. We got lunch reservations. You go ahead inside here and get some grub. Kind of strange. I think we've got the most lit up table in the entire room. Like everybody's dark and I've got a spotlight coming down on me, but we are eating inside T-Rex. This is my buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Is that how you feel? <laughs> That's awesome. It's a cool room. Strawberryosaurus lemonade. Mmm, that's good. That's good. Look at those nachos. Holy cow. And I got the uh, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and veggies. Got done with lunch, and the rain has stopped. I think it's actually done for the day. Oh, maybe it's still sprinkling a little bit, but take what we can get. Yep. Sunshine and Christmas trees. We're gonna go look at the Christmas tree trail. It's the town it's a whipped cream day. Here is the monorail tree going all the way up. Here we go, a spiced winter ale. 
Oh yeah. All right, it's starting to look nice out here. We're gonna go check out Sprinkles for some sugar. Uh huh. Cupcake ATM. Let's try it. It's actually too sunny for you to see the screen, but they got Sprinkles on here. Should be Sprinkles. Let's see here. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. So I've been in the Coke store quite a few times, but there's something else upstairs. We're gonna go check it out and go all the way to the top this time. Let's go see the Coke Cola Polar Bear. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, buddy. On the third floor above the Polar Bear, they got this neat little overlook of the entire Disney Springs. And the rain's already drying up. All right. Well, just got a text message on my phone from Disney. They said they have a campsite available for us, so we're gonna be uh, heading back to the campground on the bus. We'll go park and get all set up and comfy. All right, so it's still sprinkling a little bit outside, but this is the last day of rain for sure, hopefully, for the parks anyway. Gonna go find our site is 1725 and get set up a little bit and then go to our dinner plans tonight. And by the way, I do want to share Christmas decorations later tonight when the sun goes down. Uh, you can already see some folks have uh, really gone all out. And I think, uh, I think we'll be competing in just a little bit once I get my inflatables all set up around here. Here's a, a pretty big one off to the left right here. Uh, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to show more of these uh, tonight though. Wow. All right, we're back. I'm all set up. Got them all out here displayed. Already got a few people stop by. Got the motorcycle out, all hooked up, full hookups. Don't quite reach the drain, but that's okay. It's gonna drain on the way out when we leave in a week. And, uh, ooh, let's go eat those cupcakes. Getting some outside time, Jax man? All right, buddy. Oh, don't fall. All right, cupcake time before dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil it all right. Look at that delicious beast. You want some? Too bad. Oh, you wouldn't like it anyway, it's delicious. It's delicious. All right, we're going to go try to catch one of the buses to the settlement uh, for our nightly activities. We're here at the settlement, and we got our tickets for the hoop to do review, which is in here, which is an all-you-can-eat uh, buffet-style food type thing, and a show. Looking forward to it. I've never seen it before, so I will film as much as I can when we get in there, but I also want to enjoy it. So. See you soon. While we're waiting for our chance to get in there, they have a Christmas tree here at the settlement. They also have horse-driven carriages that'll take you around to your campsite. And they have a trading post at this end too. I do need a magnet, so let's go inside and see if they have any 2018 magnets that I have to have. Believe it or not, that's the magnet I picked, guys. It's a three-dimensional kind of rubber material magnet. And it says Walt Disney World on the bottom. Isn't that cool? I like that one. Really good, it's a lot of food. Yeah, barbecue ribs, chicken, mashed potatoes, baked beans, and corn. And we got a table all to ourselves. Unlimited. <laughs> okay. Then you put your right foot out. <laughs> yeah, love out. Beautiful dreamer. Waking in the air. No, lower, lower. Starlight in the don't hold back, just let it go. Sounds of a rude world. Strawberry, strawberry shortcake. Look at that. Beautiful. Really good show, lots of fun. Let's walk back to the campground now and let's see if we can find some neat Christmas decorations like mine. Clearly my decorations are not the best in the park. Some people bring an entire cargo trailer to set up their Christmas decorations. And everything is Mickey. That is a lot of Disney stuff.
<laughs> I think the first one we stopped at here might be the best in the entire park. We're going to actually take this loop and go look. It's pretty epic. Look at all this. Look at this. That's like a 12 foot Mickey there, a big Mickey Nutcracker. Look at their windshield. Oh my gosh. That is impressive, guys. This looks like the Christmas loop to be in for Disney. Uh-huh, another semi-truck with a bunch of figurines in the windshield. Oh man. Look at this one. A snow slide in the entrance. Wow, and something on the RV screen. Olaf! <laughs> yep, everybody's competing with everybody on this loop. Look at this. Look at their cart. It's got Rudolph on the front. Not lit up right now. But it'd be cool to see them driving down the road. And that is the biggest Mickey icon I've seen yet. Now those ones are a little more three-dimensional. I feel like that would be harder to travel with. But some people just bring their trailer, like you can see. They brought a trailer full of Christmas decorations. There's two sites here next to each other. Looks a little cold here, huh? Yep. All right, one last loop to look at before we get home. And the winner goes to this guy. We get to walk through. Look at this amazing setup, guys. He's built a path so you can walk around his RV and look at everything. So we start over here. Oh, cookies and milk, awesome. He's also got a lot of the monorail system here. As you can see, Cinderella's Castle, the Polynesian, the Contemporary Resort over there, and going into Epcot. <laughs> Santa getting ready to go into the jacuzzi there with the polar bear. Santa's pets, aww. And the entire North Pole reindeer stable of reindeer. Jeez. Frosty snow globe, a bunch of happy penguins playing keep away. Aww, that's not very nice and some ginormous polar bears and teddy bears of some sort. I mean, there's got to be three trailers full of decorations just at this campsite. How could I possibly compete with this? Ferris wheel? Santa and Rudolph on a teeter-totter? <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all those nutcrackers. Here's your Star Wars, DB-8, R2-D2, C-3PO, Chewie, Yoda. Oh man, the naughty or nice slide with the Minions. And Minnie's Boutique. That's Cinderella's carriage. Wow. All right, Merry Christmas, Santa. Well, we recognize this spot, don't we? say third best in the campground. <laughs> Looking good. Playing some music over there. Is Santa going to pop out and make an appearance? Ho, ho, ho. All right, well, we're back. Day one is in the books, officially settled at Walt Disney World. And uh, next we'll be going to the parks. The weather is looking good for at least the next three to four days. So should be fun. We'll see you all on Tuesday with another video from Walt Disney World. Good night, guys. Have a magical night.